today is celebrated as International Family Day because at Hewitt we are a family, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, we are a school family. And so we want to recognize that as a school, we are very diverse. We have families from different cultures, religion, race, beliefs. And so that is what we are here for. We want to celebrate this morning. Part of our family is obviously Oliver's my son and Karis is my niece. We all live on the same road. So what happens is I have Karis and Oliver in the mornings. They come with me and we bring them to school. And then after school, my sister picks them up to Karis' mum and they spend the evening there having dinner until I come home from work and we go back to mine and go around. So we work well all together. On the weekends, both of them have different activities and things they like to do. So Oliver likes doing martial arts. We like going to the boats and horses. Harris is very much into horses. So anything horses, horse riding, jumping, taking them out in the carts on the roads, absolutely loves it. <laughs> um, so during the lockdown, Harris spent a lot of her time with my mum, which is her nan, because her mum was a key worker at the airport, so she had to go out. But what they were doing during the lockdown is they were doing all the exercises in the garden, riding their bikes, so they'd come and ride their bike towards my house, and out the front we'd have a little catch up and go back, obviously they'd go back. One of the big things we like to do is to go out on adventures, so into the woods, find all the different trees that we can climb and jump off and do adventures. Um, but their favourite thing of all time is to go to the boat. So our pe my parents, their grandparents, have a boat that's on the Thames, so we drive up past the river, past Windsor Castle. On the back of the boat is a little dinghy that they get down on, we put it into the river, and they then go off and do that on their own with their granddad. So they get to steer the boat, do the ropes on the locks. So one of the hardest things on the boat is doing the locks. Karis has an excellent hand on it, so she's always got the rope holding on to make sure the boat doesn't leave the side of the canal. And then when we're in there, you also have to do the lock button, so it opens the gates, which allows you to go through the next part of the river. With the lock, it goes up and down, um, and Carries has to hold the buttons to allow it to work. So when the lock keeper's not there, we do it manually, and they both absolutely love it. So what's your favorite part about the boat? Well, my favourite part of the boat is that when you actually get to see the inside, well, it's pretty much warm in there. So the inside of the boat is really big. It's a bit like a house. It's got two bedrooms, one that has a bunk bed with the bathroom, kitchen, everything. Oliver's actual favourite part is the sunbathe on the front. So if it means that he can sit out in the sun, he absolutely loves it. Um, he's just started into karate. So, he likes to do his karate moves. And Karis' is the horses. Good, great job. Thank you so much and thank you for sharing with us today. Jerusalem <laughs> Including our dad is karate. 
We are all members of Tisco Karate, which is a Japanese martial art, and we do this activity twice a week. Tisco stands for Traditional International Shotokan Karate Association. I have been doing karate since the age of five. Rafael and Muscat both started when they were six. What does karate teach us? Karate teaches us self-defense, discipline, and etiquette. It's our skills for when and if we need it, and teaches us respect. We have rules and principles that we follow. As a family, we train with our sensei and take part in national championship tournaments. We have won many medals and trophies already. To practice karate and take part in championship tournaments, we need a special license to compete. Because of the pandemic, we have been doing our karate online using Zoom. We even did our grading exams online. It hasn't been easy, but our sensei has helped us a lot during lockdown. Mskan and I have three more gradings to go until we are black belts. Money has five to go. We have to remember different cutters and techniques for our exams. Because we are still able to continue with karate during lockdown, we have kept fit physically and mentally. It's also made us feel less alone and more confident. We may have not been able to practice in our dojo, but Sensei has helped us stay in track and keep so The youngest member of our family is only one years old right now, but when she is five, she will have, well, she will join our Tisco group and have her family by her side. Parents, um, we have to support our children and um, help the sensei in how they learn their karate techniques at home. So we work with the sensei to make sure they practice for their uh, grading exams, which happen every three months. And not only for their grading exams, but they compete in national championships, as they said. So they've all got their medals here and trophies. And they've got these because they've competed with hundreds and hundreds of other children across the country and they've been lucky enough to stand on a podium and receive first, second, third place prizes. say that we're very very proud of our children and their dad um, for achieving so much and uh, you know their determination and their resilience through lockdown uh, we're very proud of them and when they get to black belt there'll be a huge celebration they have a um, prom like party so they'll be all dressed up and uh, celebrating and hopefully we can do that in style once we get there <laughs> but it's a, it's a really good, really good opportunity, really good um, um, uh, practice to get into, and uh, we're very proud of them.